I'm Cody Dabney from Velocity Modern Classics. Today we've got our 1970 F250 High Boy. This is our heritage edition and we want to go over a lot of the features on this truck. Let's take a look. So when you look at the front of this truck, the first thing you notice is the beautiful Glazerit Velocity Blue and Wimbledon White paint. JW speaker, chrome headlights, painted bumpers, cool touch right here, Velocity billet logo on the front of the grill. Nice clean, it says Ford on the front of the hood, We're trying to keep it original. We're not trying to take off all the original badging, LED lighting behind all the original lenses. So one of the coolest features on this truck is the hood badges and the cab lights. I think the cab lights are probably one of my coolest features on it. And you know, it's something that's different and it really sets this truck off. It's something you just don't see every day and it's aggressive yet timeless. You come down here and look at the wheels, 33 inch all terrain tires, steel wheels, painted blue to match the top got billet center caps that really tie this thing together. So we're looking through this wheel opening and what do we see in there? It's coil over suspension, aftermarket chassis, spline sway bars. This thing rides like a dream. West Coast mirrors. We wanted to keep that almost farm truck vibe to it even though we've retired this thing and put it out to pasture. Again, we're gonna keep moving on these billet parts. Look at this door handle, beautiful design. Something we came up with in-house. Chrome belt line trim, again, a heritage model option. Okay, we're gonna go and look at the inside of this bed. You come back into the cargo bed, you're gonna look inside here and it is painted and it is beautiful. You see two leather jump seats in the back of this truck. That is an option we did specially for this customer. Give this kid some fun in the back of the truck and be able to enjoy it as much as he does. Let's come back here and look at the tailgate. If you look at the tailgate, you're gonna notice some different trim levels. So we took some trim levels from across the years and we combined it on this truck. So it was the best looking option for us and we felt like it was the best package overall. Again, we added a little bit more billet back here with a billet tailgate handle and a really cool feature, a backup camera. Other than that, put one more little detail back here. We actually machined the taillight lenses. You don't really notice it until you get up on it, but that's our goal is to add features that just really blend in with the truck. Let's open the hood on this beast. It's definitely not an engine you'd see back in 1970. Coyote 5 liter, dual overhead cam engine, 4R70, automatic overdrive transmission, really clean engine bay, it's really serviceable. You can take this thing to any Ford dealer and that mechanic's gonna know what he's doing when he sees this engine. Let's go for a drive. All right guys, we talked about the outside of this truck and a lot of the cool features on it. You know, it's a it's really special truck, but when you open the door of this thing, man, there's a lot of features inside this thing. I wanna go over them, especially the interiors. I feel it's one of the main focal points of the truck. You know, the blue leather, more in Giles, you know, leather's important and you want it to be comfortable, but you want it to last as well. Great leather company to work with, but let's talk about this seat. First thing you notice is that spinny back woven leather. It's a very unique look to it. It's something we've never done before and we've got a great reaction from it. I think it's one of the better interiors that we've done here at Velocity. We built everything in house. You know, when you look at the door panels, you can also see that it's got a unique design to it. Had the guys in the trim shop fab those up. A lot of thought and time went into them, but at the same time, we wanted to keep it classic. Again, that's, that's what we do, modernize classics. We don't want to get outside of that realm and it look too new or too OEM. With that being said, a lot of the billet parts that you see on the outside of the truck, you can see those throughout the interior. It even comes down to the dash defrost vents. That's something that we made custom. Nobody really offers these parts for these trucks, so it's really special to be able to make these in-house and especially be able to design something that not only does somebody else can't get it, it's unique to this truck. You know, so when you buy a heritage model, you know, F-250 from Velocity, you're getting unique features. You're not gonna see it across the board from other builders or on other trucks. So it's special to your truck. The drive of this truck is 
is just so smooth. It, it feels heavy. I know people hear me say that a lot. I think something that feels a little heavy feels quality. Sitting on coilover suspension, it's got a more updated feel. You can take turns and feel comfortable about it, not worried about a lot of body roll. It's got spline sway bars, coilover suspension, Atlas II transfer case, automatic transmission, four speed. It's got a lot of quality components under it to make it feel like a new truck. You know, so we definitely don't want to get in this. You spend all this money and you know, you're driving it. It, it might look good, but it needs to feel good and drive good at the same time. This truck definitely has the power where it needs it. It's smooth, but when you really want to hammer down on it, it's got it where you need it. That Coyote 5 liter packs a punch. Perfect power, power for this truck. Um, around 480 flywheel horsepower, around 350 to the tires. It's all the power you need in this thing. Yeah, you can, you can throw a supercharger at it, something like that, but really not necessary. You know, for everyday driving, it's right where you need it to be. Something else about this truck, I've driven it a lot. Probably put a couple hundred miles on this truck personally. It's fun. I don't ever want to get out of this truck. It's comfortable. You know, this bench seat doesn't feel like a seat that you would get in this time. It fits the contour of your back. I mean, it's, you, you want to take this thing across the country. You know, that's what I want to do with it when I get in it. I'm ready to drive this thing for a couple of hours. You know, I don't want to put some miles on it. I just feel at home inside of it. And, you know, that's an important part of your interior. You almost want it to feel like your living room and feel comfortable. And this, this interior is right on point. All right, we're gonna get this thing out on the highway, get up to some real cruise speeds, show you how it handles it, you know, 70, 80 miles an hour, so that you don't have to fight it. Yeah. That sounds like a truck. So here we are at 70 miles an hour. See, I've got one finger on the steering wheel. It, it doesn't feel like I'm fighting it. It tracks straight. It's not all over the road. It's not drifting. It's quality. You know, you, we see a lot of builders, you know, with trucks that they look great. They got a lot of cool parts on them, but at the end of the day, you can't drive them. You know, for this amount of money, you want to be able to drive your truck and you know feel comfortable in it. If you get into a truck or you know anything that you built and it, it's just all over the road and it's miserable to drive. You just can't enjoy it. We want our customers to enjoy our trucks and feel comfortable in them. And again, feel safe. These trucks feel really safe and very dependable. It, it feels like a smaller, you know, half ton pickup truck. It just doesn't have that super hard to drive feel about it. And that's what's so great about it. And when we went into this, we, you know, how do we design a truck that can be used in daily driving? or you know, just comfort, or you want to get out and feel a little sporty with it. I think it's the total package, and that Coyote really helps bring all that together. It's same, great amount of horsepower. It's all you need. Works every time. All right, let's open this thing up a little bit. Woo! Yeah, it's a truck. 5,000 pounds, this thing moves out pretty good. 